I am Mahesh Mishra. I am ex-director of AIMS. I have uh, worked at AIMS for last 37 years and uh, I gave up my office recently. Uh, we are today talking about various entrance examination for postgraduate medical courses and also DM and MCH entrance examinations. We know that students remain quite uh, worried, they prepare very hard. So through this guidance, we want to give them some tips which might help them to do well in their examinations. Okay, so as regards PG entrance, difference between AIMS and NEET exam, I would say that AIMS has a uh, three-hour question paper where you have 200 uh, questions uh, and uh, these questions generally are logical, lengthy questions, more about concepts and less about memorization. And while NEET exam has 300 questions of three and a half hour duration and generally one-liners and also require facts, names, eponyms and science, etc. Now to prepare for both, when I spoke to students, what they said that we make uh, basically uh, our uh, notes for different for both. There are two sections. One is the risk basic and logic type questions, which we can revise anytime. And uh, they also mentioned that uh, fact based questions, which include names, dates, measurements, etc., for you should keep ready so that you can revise in the last one month before the entrance examination. Now, they also say that if you have been very sincere in your undergraduate studies and you have studied all subjects, basics, your basics are very strong, then even you don't need any coaching for postgraduate entrance examination. And that has been said even for undergraduate. But for postgraduate specifically, if your basics are strong from the beginning, all the subjects you have read very in depth and you are well prepared then you will do well in postgraduate entrance examination. And uh, somebody doesn't go for, go for, want to go for coaching, then uh, he can actually make, some students can get together. Some are going to coaching, some are not going to go coaching, some are studying themselves, some are taking individual classes from some teachers. I think everything works. But at the bottom line is that it all, boils down to the student himself or herself. And again, I would say that hard work during your undergraduate course of MBBS, studying all the subjects in depth will go a long way in preparing for PG entrance and getting selected in PG sooner than later. But again, I would say, since in India, there is another thing which I would like to emphasize that uh, it all depends upon your ranking, which subject you will get. So many a times you are not getting a subject of your choice. Now that is something from the beginning I would advise that you should have at least one, two, three or four choices so that you are not disheartened at the end that you wanted medicine, you got surgery, you wanted pediatrics, you got surgery or something like that. And then naturally you are not so much interested and you are not pursuing that PG so well as otherwise you should be pursuing so well and that is something uh, in India which we can't do without it because there is a method to assessment and making merit we cannot do away with that and that's the best we have thought and we have got at the current time so till we find another alternative I think have at least more than one choice in your mind that if you don't get X the next is also equally good for you and I must tell you, any specialty you take, if you are really sincere and you focus, you will do well in your career in that specialty. Many times we haven't got that specialty which we wanted badly in the beginning, but we got something else and you thought in retrospect, it is better that you got that one. So I think uh, don't get disheartened if you are not getting the subject of your choice. That, that's number one. Number two, do well, have positive mindset and work hard. 
may be first time you may not get selected second time you will get subject of your choice and that is something you should never give up and uh, i am sure if you remain positive the sky is the limit for any one of you now for super specialty entrance i don't think any guidance is needed but i would suggest that if you can get opportunity uh, at least for aims entrance if you can get opportunity to work in that particular specialty for some time maybe for 6 months maybe for one year as a senior resident non academic it's a good idea and that gives you a uh, reasonable idea what that specialty is all about because the questions at least for aims and pgi entrance examinations would be related to that particular super specialty and uh, you will do well uh, but in neat as i have been told that uh, you the basic specialty for example if you are pair taking a dm entrance examination the basic specialty is internal medicine so the question would be from internal medicine and not not from a particular special super specialty so that is the only difference at aims also we have 80% weightage for theory and 20% your marks are from interview when we interview these candidates we do not know how much, how well they have done in theory so we don't know the those the interview board doesn't have the information of the marks they have obtained so the marks obtained in theory are with the examination section which are confidential once we uh, conduct interviews the, those marks are also uh, given to the examination section and if somebody has done extremely well in theory actually these 20 marks may not have much bearing for example if somebody has scored say uh, 80 marks in theory so if that person even if he gets very low marks in interview can has chance to get selected in for dm or mch program uh, and that is something is possible so your theory has to be strong and also naturally if you do well in interview uh, your overall chances to uh, for entrance uh, becomes brighter so uh, this is something which i wish good luck to all those who are uh, now going for taking these entrance examinations in coming uh, months and uh, wish you all the best